Hey everyone, God bless you all. Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, so here I am in LA and thought I'd give you a quick update before I get to something interesting. The Lord showed me, um, first of all, here we are in the city of angels. And it's interesting that here's the confirmation that I had, I kept, I kept running into the, a num, the number 84 and I was listening to uh, a news report, a weather report a minute ago, and I'm going to play it for in a second, but it's like, it was the last straw. I'm like, okay, one more 84 time to do a video now. Okay. So listen to this rain that we picked up so far in Mount Laguna, California, nearly four inches of rain. Death Valley, known for being the hottest place on the planet, right? Mm -hmm. Only averages about one hundredth of an inch of rain per year, has already picked up over two and a quarter inches or pretty close to it. And the breadth and depth of Hillary, I think, is what's really interesting. Okay, here we go. Notice that from San Mountain, 84 mile per hour winds Look at the rain that we picked okay, up. Okay, so 84 mile per hour winds. Now, this happened right after I was thinking about should I do this video that the Lord has led me on this path today. Now, here we have this tropical storm warning, Hillary, which is not going to be a tremendous hurricane like they thought it might be. Okay, it was downgraded to a tropical storm. Uh, and here's the interesting thing. We have not had, LA has not had a tropical storm for 84 years. Okay, now, um, and then on top of that, <laughs> When I checked the weather earlier, it's for today, it said 84 degrees. So then I got an email from a sister yesterday who was talking about a few a dream she had had in her mother who had died uh, at 84 years old. Something, what is going on with this 84? And then I heard something else on a video actually that I don't, even remember it had to do with I think actually I, I don't remember what the video was or anything but here's the thing um, in the Bible Anna the prophetess was 84 years old now I looked up a couple of things it's interesting to ask the Lord what are you trying to say here so So I want to read you a couple of things that relate to why I believe the Lord is pointing out 84. First of all, it's very symbolic. We just had an earthquake. Okay. Uh, I had this come on emergency alert. It was, uh, an 8.6 and then they immediately downgraded it to 8. I mean, I'm sorry, 5.6. It, that's what it was. And that, so, so now suddenly it's a 5.1. <clears throat> okay. So they're messing with that. Um, now that was, I believe that was near, um, uh, Santa Barbara, but there might've been a couple others that I, I heard about vaguely walking through the room on the radio. So I'm not sure there might be another, okay, now, so we're having earthquakes and hurricanes on the same day. Um, and it's 84, the day of eight, it's been 84 years since a tropical storm watch in LA or since one actually happened. Now, 
So Anna the prophetess, this is this is what really struck me is that she was she got married and she was married for seven years. Seven years. This is like the seven year marriage supper. Okay, Jacob's trouble, the bride's gonna be at the wedding for seven years. She was married for seven years and then she was a widow right after that until she was 84. And then, so, and after that, she was always in the temple day and night, praying and fasting. She never left the temple. That's what it will be like. We will be at, we will be at the wedding seven years. And you know, the Jewish wedding is a seven day thing. And then we will, we will forever be in the temple. You know, I mean, of, of God, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll obviously will be in heaven. We will not be in this world. Thank God anymore. Or at least we'll be in our resurrected bodies in that way. We'll be in, we are the temple. We will be fulfilled. Okay. <clears throat> we might come, I mean, we'll be coming back to the earth. That won't be totally perfect. What I'm saying is that we will be the full, we will be fully in the temple in our resurrected bodies. Okay. So guess what 84 means in Hebrew strongs. It means feather and wing. And then in the Greek, the first thing I see, <clears throat> it means out of sight. A Adela, Adelos, out of sight. So we're going to flap our wings. We're going to be out of sight. And, um, and so basically, <clears throat> Anna the prophetess, she spoke about Jesus Christ being the redeemer of Jerusalem. And she was, a, she was a prophetess and she, she saw Jesus. She's, she was there. And so we are going to, like her, we're going to be in his presence. We're going to be in his presence when he comes to get us. So with all this stuff going on with 84, and then on top of that, we have, um, you know, the, the sign of the city of the angels with the, the, you know, with an earthquake, you know, and could be more to follow. And, and, you know, obviously, you know, the, 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 the LA river was already almost full. It was just phenomenally filled with water, not completely to the top already by a couple hours ago. And right now it's only four o'clock. I don't know when this video will load, but the real rain's not even supposed to come till five. So LA is going to have a lot of trouble. So I, you know, if you are near the LA river or an area where, you know, it would be prone to flooding or of course in the hillside area, I would definitely do something to be prepared for that right now. Um, because I know there's going to be bad flooding. When I saw that river almost full and the rain hasn't even come yet. I mean, it's raining right now, but the big rain's coming in an hour. We haven't had the winds hit here yet. Um, oh my gosh. And then I forgot the most, wow, look at this one. The numerical value of the name of Enoch is 84. Enoch is our brother who was raptured in the Bible. 84. So you got out of sight, wings, Enoch, the prophetess, the seven year marriage, and then the forever in the temple until 84. And then you got all these 84s going on here in LA, the city of the angels, 
God is telling us that he is about to come. We are about to see the king. So, of course, we have more confirmations with all of the blue moon and the, you know, the, he's coming on around the blue blood moon and the, the blue moon is the 30th and all the people have had dreams of two moons. I believe probably all of that was pointing to the two full moons in one month, which is the blue moon. And of course it's the sturgeon red moon as well. And then of course, connected to that again is my dream with the sack, the baby in the sack and hearing Patrick's voice from hourly watch saying, you know, I listened to my dream. Uh, you know, I had to find it. He actually said in my dream, he actually said, we're leaving immediately. We're leaving immediately. I keep saying he's coming immediately, but it means the same thing, but we're leaving immediately. He said it those three times. And that was three years ago, landing on this year's the three years later. And now God has shown him this, all this amazing stuff <clears throat> as at the revelation 12 sign at the time of the feast of trumpets on the 15th of September, 16, 17, 18, right at the time of the UN meeting that has a seven year uh, agreement plan <clears throat> to basically destroy the world. Um, and at the UN in New York. And so, and why the, right now New York has caught all these fires, buildings have caught on fire in Brooklyn right now. And, um, <clears throat> and then the video I did the other day talking about it again, Tony early um, wrote in and he just did a video saying that he had a, his dream about the baby saying uh, his son saying the baby is gone in the red balloon. He said, there was a parking lot in that dream. Exactly like the parking lot. I did the video in yesterday or two days ago. So, you know, confirmations are just piling up one after another. And um, I think this is really interesting about um, uh, Anna and the seven years. She was married for seven years. The Lord is pointing. This is a huge, this is a huge day. This 84 is big. And if you all have any more on it, feel free to write in. Um, in the meantime, look up because this whole blue moon thing is like in 10 days and the Lord said on or around. So it could be before, during, or after. I think that we're leaving before this covenant is signed in New York. Because I believe it's the nine, Daniel 927 covenant. And um, just everything about it is just the ingredients are all there. So... Um, <clears throat> So with that, I'll let you go and hopefully, uh, well, keep everyone in prayer in LA, you know, it's that, that they would really, especially those in dire straits, that they would come to Christ. They would find Jesus <clears throat> in the storm because that is the most important thing of all. Do you know Christ? Are you saved? Do you believe in his shed blood on the cross? That he died for your sins, past, present, and future. He made atonement for all sins. For anyone who would believe in him, he's the son of God sent by Yahweh, the father. <clears throat> he is the word wrapped in the flesh, came as the baby in the manger. And uh, <clears throat> don't forget to check out Patrick's Revelation 12 videos from Hourly Watch phenomenal and it's all coming together so we're leaving in a minute that's why i say it <clears throat> do i think it has to be on a feast day i don't i don't because we're children of abraham we're not the jews those feasts were for the jews i don't think we have to come on leave on a feast day and we might we might you know but i don't think we have to and that's why i say even though i do watch days i also i also feel like 
It could be any minute. And with the different calendars and everything, it will be significant. Whenever he comes, it will have great significance why he picked that day. I do believe that. It won't be like nothing else happened that day in history. Yeah, I think it will be. But uh, but we might, you know, we might not know exactly what that that is ahead of time, or we or we might see something, but it might not be a feast day. So anyway, um I will talk to you guys soon. Stay encouraged because we are leaving. We are leaving. We are leaving. We are leaving. I said that three times.